Hello and welcome to part 3 of the Advanced Bookhaven series where I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make an animations GUI where you can you, know, you can choose from all these different animations to do and yeah so watch to the end to find out exactly how I do this okay so the first thing you want to do is add in a screen GUI I'm just going to name this animation GUI And then make it nice, make it nice and good, I guess. Okay, so once you've done done it like this, um, it doesn't really matter, but I've added a, a button here. So it tweens left to right, left to right. And I've got a UI aspect ratio constraint to make sure it stays like this. You could do 0 0.5 or 1, I guess. <laughs> A UI corner which does this. You can use the plugin Roundify, but I just realised this is a thing, so I thought I'd give it a go. We've also got the the scrolling frame, which is where all the your animations are going to be held. As, as I said, the button, a little uh, text, a little title, which I'll just call title. And inside this scrolling frame, I've done a UI list layout, which is, this is fine for me. Make sure horizontal alignment is center, just to make it nice, I guess. And top, make sure it starts at the top. And inside this, this local script, which I'm going to name um, Animation Handler, is a folder with all the animations. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then also a an animation button, which is if I put it in here. This is like the so if I so it's the animation name here. And then you can customize that as much as you want. Okay, so we're going to go into the script and we're going to do the variables, which is local anims. Go to script, wait child, animations, and then we need to get the descendants for the children, and then local template button, which is equal to script, wait for child, anim button, and then nothing at the end. And then local player, local game dot player, player, local character is player dot character or player dot character um, added weight, and then local humanoid. You, you, you know stuff, you know stuff. And then we're going to do local current anim, which we're going to set to nil. Which actually, I guess technically you could just have it like that. You don't actually need a equals nil because that equals nil. But we'll just equals nil because why not? And then four, uh, I guess we do index. Anim in pairs, anims, anims, um, do, They're local loaded, and then, oh, this, this isn't my script, by the way, this is, um, how to robot, I think that's how you say it, that's their script, so thank you, thank you to them, I've also taken some of their script, um, sorry, sorry, some of their animations, I, I, I did, technically make my own um, which I showed you guys on discord if you are on my discord group if you're not I, I suggest uh, joining it it's, it's it's awesome I will I will send in like I'll I'll post the video whenever I upload and I'll talk to you guys about video ideas or about you guys make if you guys are making a game and you can tell me what kind of game you're making and if you need any help or anything So yeah, that, that that kind of thing, and then so we're going. To, this is going to be anim name. Well, while testing, I accidentally named this template button, and it didn't work, and it was confusing me for about half an hour. So we're just not going to talk about it. And then template clone dot parent equals script dot parent dot animations, and then template clone dot mouse button one click or one up. So when you click, and then when your when your finger leaves the button. So if you, if you click on it and you don't want it, you can just move off, I don't know, I, I think, I prefer that. And then, if current anim isn't, it isn't equal to loaded anim, then if current anim, then current anim stop, and then end just on that line, and then current anim, ah, I'm saying that too much. CA, I'm just going to name it CA for now. Um, 
to apply it. And then else if CA equals loaded anim, then you know stop and you know equals nil. Awesome. Uh, but don't go anywhere, don't go anywhere yet because I'm still going to do the let's see I watched the end to to get the whole the whole thing. So we're gonna first of all we're just gonna test that. Okay, so levitating. There we go. Okay, happy. Nice. Robot. One. Uh, and because the, yeah, this one's glitch because I used a live action camera. Not me. This was not me dancing. Um, I just took it like uh, from YouTube, I guess. Oh uh, yeah, you just get get the Billy Maguire dance. And so that's why it's so weird. If I was to move, I can do that. Yeah. Where this is just an actual animation. Yeah, I don't know. So that works, but this doesn't. So we're going to code that now. Okay, so in here we're going to add in a local script that we're going to call GUI handler. And inside here we're going to add the variables to local tween service, which is local tween service, uh, tween service, there you go. And then local button, which is script dot parent. Oh god, my voice. <coughs> Script dot parent dot animation frame dot animation button, and then, or I guess we could do wait for child animation button, make it look all fancy and posh. Then main frame equals script dot parent dot animation frame local open equals false, so because it's not open. Then local tween info is tween info dot new. And that it's gonna last one second, it's gonna be enum.easingstyle.elastic, so that's cool. And enum.easingdirection.out because why not? And then local tween tween one equals tween service create. We're gonna be moving the main frame. We're gonna be doing we're using tween info and we're going to be doing the position. Which is going to be equal to enum uh, udem dot new zero point one two five point zero point zero five point zero. Yeah. Um, so that's the position that it is now. I want it to end up after the after the animation, but I actually want it to be right now zero point one because this shows, but that doesn't. Okay. And now we're just going to. Okay. Now we're gonna just gonna. Copy and paste it, and it's going to make it two, and then change this to minus zero point one. And now, button dot mouse button one up connect to function. If not open, then tween one will play, and then open will be set to true, and then else if open then tween 2 will play and open will be set to false yeah pretty exciting stuff and then tween info then I guess that is technically I guess this is the main program awesome and now we'll test that Hey, it worked. Okay, all right. So it's obviously you can use whichever one. You can just use linear if you want to be boring. But I'm just, I'm just gonna use elastic. Um, you can use bounce. I was gonna use bounce, but this is more fun. <laughs> um, so yeah, we can do levitating, do happy, robot, run, boom, require dance. Um, and then so if you if you're not happy with it and you don't want any other, just click again and it's off. And yeah, that, that, that's pretty much it. You're gonna have to make your own animations. I'm not like good at all about making animations. That's why I'm so proud about the live action one. Yeah, I, I got those from um, How To Roblox and I made the last one using live action. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the video. And I'll, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.